Hey guys, it's Mary Taylor, Day with Kingdom Blueprint. Today we are on day 28. For our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Ephesians 6, 12 through 13, that is such a powerful verse. Here's our declaration. I declare I am able to recognize that my fight is not against the people I face in the flesh. My fighting is done in the spiritual realm through prayer against spiritual authorities, principalities, and the rulers of the darkness of this world. I am divinely enabled to conquer all three of these through the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. My testimony, the word that I testify to or agree with in the heavenly courts, lines up with the word of God. When I take up my shield of faith, breastplate of righteousness, helmet of salvation, and swing my sword of truth, I am well able to resist the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I love that. Um, that is the greatest tactic of the enemy. He wants you so caught up getting offended by what people are saying out of their mouth, what people are doing physically in front of you, so you don't have the heart posture to be able to be used by the Lord to see what's going on in the spirit realm. You know, when I held and harbored unforgiveness and bitterness and slander and was constantly judging people and criticizing people, first of all, that's a tactic to block my anointing because that's what the God, that's what God um, not God, the enemy wants. He wants that blocked. He doesn't want you being able to have a heart of compassion because if you don't have a heart of compassion, you can't pray and intercede for people like that. Your prayers will be hindered if your heart is not in the right heart posture, right? And so once I learned that, I will tell you, like what you see in the spirit realm will grow when God can trust you with his people. If he can't trust you with his people to protect you and them, he won't show you things in the spirit realm because it will be more about showing you what's in your heart. Why are you not forgiving that person? Why does that bother you so much? Why can't you let that go? These are all things because he's a loving father. It's not that he doesn't want to trust you. It's that he's trying to teach you that he wants to, to teach you how to trust you, right? And so I said that kind of twice. Um, but to encourage you, we don't war against flesh and blood. So I don't care. You should hear some of the things that we get on our YouTube channel, some of the messages in the comments. And it's like, I used to get so caught up in like, I can't believe they'd say that. They don't know me. It's not them. The enemy is trying to use them to hurt me. And so now every time somebody comments negative, I pray for them. I bless them. And I don't mean that in spite. I bless them because it's like, oh, thank you, God. Thank you for letting them get on our channel so I can be put in a position to pray for them because that's what they need. They need prayer. They need prayer. Um, but it's being able to understand that the enemy wants you caught up in offense because if you're caught up in offense, you're never going to see the spiritual side. You're never going to be able to walk in the spirit realm and be able to take out what that stronghold is. You know, I have seen so much breakthrough when I am in the spirit realm praying for somebody and I can see the stronghold, I can see what's causing them to, to um, stumble. I can see what's blocking them and my heart is full of compassion for them. God will give you authority to take that out in the spirit realm. And then you will see it manifest on earth. You will see that person start walking in the way that they should be walking, but that stronghold's broken. And so we, oh my gosh, guys, the authority that we have in the kingdom, that is what the enemy doesn't want you to know. Because as you start walking in that authority and dying to your flesh and not caring what people say, not caring what people do and understanding that's just what people, people are going to disappoint you. People are going to hurt you. But to be able to have compassion, forgive them, release them, but then be able to go in the spirit realm and take out what they're actually struggling with. Oh my gosh. Like that's how God wanted us to live. He wanted us to take dominion over the land. We need to conquer the giants in front of us. I love how, I don't remember who it was that said this, but God gave David a Goliath to take him out of the shepherding season to promote him to kingship. God will put a Goliath in front of you to position you for kingship. So I hope that encourages you because whatever Goliath you're facing, Trust God and know that he's not going to give you something that you cannot handle. That's not the God we serve. So ask him for his strength. 
Ask him for his courage. Ask him for help in forgiving people. But stop getting offended by people because we do not war against flesh and blood. It is principalities of evil and darkness. And the enemy is trying to send people to get you caught up in your emotions so you won't pray for them. Instead, you'll harbor things against them and you'll never be able to help them or intercede for them. And that sucks. Like, honestly, I don't want to do that, right? So repent. If that's you and you feel be, you're feeling um, you're being convicted, not condemnation, because God doesn't give us a spirit of condemnation, amen? But if you're feeling convicted, ask God to forgive you and ask him to have eyes of compassion, to remove eyes of condemnation, to remove eyes of judgment. We need to spend more time interceding for each other and praying for each other instead of judging and criticizing what we don't know. God's ways are not our ways. So we don't have the right to judge. We're not to judge ourselves. Amen. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon.